Good morning. Hayem yeim yutes menachamav. So us Jewish men have a wonderful and beautiful and adorable mitzvah known as tefillin. And we are meant to put on tefillin every single day. And the Torah says that we should write down four passages from the Torah which describe and talk about the tefillin. And those four passages should be put into the tefillin. And that's what's inside the black boxes. Now, there is a major, major argument amongst the Jewish rabbis about what is the correct order that these parchments should be placed in. And the thing is, it's a very important argument because if the parchments are put in the wrong order, the tefillin is not kosher. It's like you're not wearing tefillin. And the most famous opinion is the opinion of Rashi. Then Rashi's grandson, Rabbi Tom, argued with him and has a different version of how the tefillin should look. Then there is an opinion of the great rabbi, the Ravid, and the Ravid agrees with the Rabbeinu Tom in the hand tefillin, but he disagrees with the head tefillin. And then there is an opinion of one of the Ga'inim by the name of Rav, Rav Sar Shalom, and he wrote a book on tefillin known as Shemush Rabbah, and therefore his tefillin is called Tefillin de Shemush Rabbah. And he agrees with Rashi on the hand tefillin, but he disagrees with Rashi on the head tefillin. And therefore we have these four peers of tefillin, these four versions of the tefillin, these four opinions. And the Shulchan Aruch writes that we paskin and we hold like Rashi. Rashi is the mainstream opinion. And that's why everybody wears Rashi's tefillin. Rashi is the accepted opinion. But the Shulchan Aruch writes that anyone who's a year of Shemayim should additionally to Rashi's tefillin should also wear Rabbeinu Tam's tefillin. Because according to Rabbeinu Tam, which is a major, major opinion, you are not wearing tefillin. And you have never worn tefillin in your life if all you've ever worn was Rashi tefillin. And their forces are, says the Shulchan Aruch, even though we follow Rashi and we pass like Rashi, you should also wear Beit HaTavah And this is why the Lubavitcher Rebbe encouraged and pushed all Jewish men to wear Beit HaTavah. And anyone who's a Hasid, anyone who's a follower of the Rebbe, um, and anyone who's, who wants to follow Shulchan Aruch should wear Beit HaTavah every day of their life, basically. Now, the other two peers of Tefillin, the Ravid Tefillin and the Shemusha Rabbit Tefillin, so very, very, very few Jews wear it. Almost nobody wears it, and to wear it, you actually have to be at a very, very high spiritual level. You have to be a very holy person. And only the greatest Jews and the greatest Hasidim used to wear the four pairs of tefillin. And in fact, the Rebbe said about himself that he himself was afraid to, and he himself was hesitant to put on the four pairs of tefillin, and he didn't know if he was holding by it. And he only felt comfortable doing it once his father-in-law, once the Friedrich Rebbe told him to, to wear the four pairs of tefillin. And actually, the Friedrich Rebbe told him that he himself is going to make and prepare the four peers so that there's secrecy and discretion and that nobody knows about it. But only then, when the Friedrich Rebbe took it on his shoulders, did the Rebbe say he felt comfortable wearing the four pairs of the tefillin. So basically, almost nobody wears the four pairs of the tefillin. And because of this, the four pairs of the tefillin are shrouded in a little bit of secrecy and mystery, and people don't really know how you go about putting them on. So when the Hayyamim was being prepared for publication and it was being written, so then the Friedrich Rebbe agreed to, for the first time, publicly release and publish the order of how to put on the four pairs of tefillin and to release that knowledge to the public. And therefore, today's Hayyim Yim, the content of today's Hayyim is how one who puts on four pairs of tefillin, how you go about it, what the order is, what it looks like. And the Rebbe tells us that right before you begin Shacharis, right before you begin Ezeel Mikhaimen, you put on the first pair of tefillin, you put on Rashi. And you dive in the entire chakras prayer, the entire morning prayer, in Rashi's tefillin. You go all the way till after Elena, all the way till after Ach Tzadikim. And after Ach Tzadikim, you take off the Shel Reish of Rashi, and you put on the Shel Reish of Shemusha Rabbah. Because again, Rashi and Shemusha Rabbah agree on the hand tefillin, they just disagree on the head tefillin. So you replace the head tefillin of Rashi with the head tefillin of Shemusha Rabbah. And you don't make a bracha because the original bracha on the Rashi's, you have in mind all the future tefillin you're going to put on, and therefore the only bracha you ever make is on the Rashi's tefillin, and you don't make another bracha on any other periods of tefillin. So you put on the head Shema Shurabba without a bracha, and right away you say Shema, because when you put on tefillin, you say the Shema, which has two of the four passages that are in the tefillin. And you say the whole Shema. Once you finish Shema, then you say the daily tehillim. And some Hasidim wouldn't just say the daily tehillim, they would actually learn the daily tehillim with the basic commentaries of Rashi and Mitzvahs. And once you're done to Hillim, then you take off the Shemusha Rabbit Tefillin and the Rashi Tehan Tefillin. Now, since we don't put on Shemusha Rabbit Tefillin, therefore we just say to Hillim in Rashi's Tefillin. We continue in Rashi's Tefillin until the end of Tehillim. But anyone putting on Shemusha Rabbah would do to Hillim in Shemusha Rabbah. Now, after you're done to Hillim, after you take off Shemusha Rabbit Tefillin, then you put on a Rabbeinu Tam Tefillin. And in Rabbeinu Tam Tefillin, you say the three paragraphs of Shema and 
the, and Kaddish, which that essentially um, constitutes, that is the four paragraphs and the four passages that are actually written into the tefillin. So in Rabbeinu Tams, you read all the passages that are written in the tefillin that are in the boxes. And after you're done with that, then you say the Sheish Zechires, the six daily remembrances, six things that Jews have to remember and bear in mind every single day. And you do that in Rabbeinu Tam. And when you're done with that, then you study one chapter of Mishnayis based on your level. Because it's very important for a Jew to learn at least a chapter of Mishnayis every single day. And you do that in the Rabbeinu Tam's tefillin right in the morning. And once you finish the Mishnayis, then you take off the Shalresh of Rabbeinu Tam, and you replace the Shalresh of Rabbeinu Tam with the Shalresh of the Ravid Tefillin, because again, the Ravid agrees with Rabbeinu Tam in the hand Tefillin, it's one and the same, you just disagree in the Shalresh. So you replace the Shalresh of Rabbeinu Tam with the Shalresh of, of Ravid, and in the Ravid Tefillin, again, you say Shema, like you always do when you put on Tefillin, and then you learn the daily Chumash, the daily Chitas, the daily Chumash with Rashi. That week's Parsha, that day's Chumash, you learn it with Rashi, and right again, again in the morning, that's something a chasa does. And when you're done with that, then you take off your tefillin, and that's how you wear the four tefillin, that's how you do shacharis with the four pairs of tefillin. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.